Uh, it's uh, my privilege to be uh, guiding this round in Endeavour. Uh, my name is Peter. I'm going to be your host for the evening and the uh, moderator for the panel discussion that will take place here at this, at this table. On one level, uh, we discuss topics that revolve around current events and trends that affect us all. On the other level, uh, we aim to create a platform of discussion that will allow participants to voice their opinion and hear the opinions of others freely. At the same time, we relate to all who sit around the tables tonight in a warm, equality-based environment that encourages connection. It is exactly a shift in awareness that's needed. Many people might think that sitting around here talking as we are tonight is just a waste of time. You know, many people feel enough talking, let's get on with the action. I believe that we have not been discussing these problems of overpopulation, overconsumption, global warming in the light of economic forces that have been driving up population as well as consumption and that have been based on an unbelievable waste of energy and resources. You know, a great conversation introduces you to a personal calling of, of more, more generosity, more caring, you know, more, more courage, you know, more dedication to the things that matter. That's what we're doing here tonight. If we want to resolve any of the issues that we face, we need to really come back down to the core of everything. And, and mutual responsibility looks at that core as being the connection between us, how we relate together, how we get on together. One of my greatest joys is watching people come together and work together to to support each other in growing food. You know, to get two or four or six or 12 people all working together and pulling weeds and chatting and comparing, it's just, it just makes my heart sing. And together, what tonight is about is, is taking our rightful place in the conversation as we discuss the issues facing humanity. And everybody has a voice in this. Everybody has a stake. And uh, the, the beauty that I found in being a BFM and as I start to engage in these kinds of conversations is that you begin to overhear yourself saying things that you never knew. You Are you here just waiting for your turn to speak? Or are you here to truly listen to what the other person has to say? Climate change isn't a problem. It's a symptom of a greater problem. And um, above all, it's a catalyst. And it's brought a lot of people together. The good news is that if we can start looking at this bigger picture, we could create a very big and a very, very powerful alliance of groups that at the moment remain fragmented. I want to encourage everyone here to be courageous, courageous and start having these conversations in your daily life everywhere. Start bringing them into your circles, bring them into your companies, bring them into your environment. And the fundamental question that mutual responsibility asks is, are we working together in the best possible way? Are we working together with nature in the best possible way or are we working together with each other in the best possible way? That's, that's the fundamental question at the end of the day that mutual responsibility asks. And so there's a lot of ego issues that come up, <laughs> can I say just very politely. Um, but it's a learning curve in how to get along with people. One of the, the amazing things that comes out of a community garden is you've got to actually kind of let go of what you think is the best way to do it because somebody else is doing it a different way and it all works. It's going to happen by us. It's going to happen by people who have a choice. We have sustained our basic survival needs and we have the ability to come to events like this to, to make change. And that change will happen, as William said, on, on this 
this space in these sort of platforms. When asked this question, how can cooperation and mutual support, I, I just thought, how is that even a question? It's, it's just, it can do it. And everyone here, I think, believes it. Um, and I think that's what's going to change, is change the world, is that belief. You know, it's not any one theory. It's about what you do. Yes. The greatest point is that we're all we're all working on this together. You know, that's what's what's really inspiring me. You know, it's so powerful having all these people putting their love and their energy into to creating this change. You know, I think that this question is really poignant. Actually, I think you know how can cooperation and mutual support um, bring about these changes? I think it it, su it supplies the support and the uh, provides the encouragement which you need to from complete random strangers perspectives and ideas which you've we never even consider and, and viewpoints which are like, oh yeah, I totally didn't even think of that. So um, the word love came up, uh, getting back to trusting people. We spoke a bit about letting go and trust. And also a very important point I think you just made, which is that we need to change our value system uh, so that we can connect as a society. Yeah, I think I'm, I, in terms of like just thoughts on tonight, it's been really great to see what a small, a powerful conversation amongst a small group of people, um, what difference it can make. So yeah, thanks. I think what we we got here that the main points is that you know that this this revolution starts you know starts in here with our actions that we that we're doing on a daily basis. The real revolution is happening right here in this room. The revolution is happening inside the person that takes all of this and makes a bold decision to forge your own path, to see what needs to be done, and start doing it. And that's what mutual responsibility is all about. How can we get this type of education into, in, into the, the education system and, and more roundtable discussions, more, uh, um, more projects where we can practice our collaborate collaborative mind and heart and how we can try and overcome this inherent um, competitive uh, behavior the truth of the larger conversation can be just too painful if you look at the word courage it comes from the Fr French word coeur which means heart so courage at its essence is the measure of your heartfelt participation in the world. And this is an invitation to inhabit the larger conversations of what we want for ourselves and what we want for the world that we're leaving our children.